<clears throat> okay, so question. When grapes get this big, like, okay, this is a tank, um, is that, like, bad? Because it seems like with other things, like, when, like, they have things grow really fast or big or something, like, there's, like, bad growth hormones, whatever makes it not as good. But, like, these are huge, and I feel like these are just, hey, okay, I just want bigger. Oh, God. No. But, this morning, <coughs> I went to the bank, and then since I'm not considered a teen anymore, and I still have my teen account, they had me switch it to, like, a college, like, credit account or whatever, and then the lady who was helping me, she started talking to me about, like, her daughter, and, oh, she was just making me cry because she was saying how her daughter died after three months, and... And they were planning the funeral now and stuff, and it was just really sad. I don't know why she was telling me this all of a sudden, but I don't know. We were talking about daycare and everything a lot, so she was really nice, but it was really sad. Oh, my people are crying in the bank. Ridiculous. Okay, so when I went to the bank, I got, I don't know why, it was because I was opening a new account or something, but she was just like, oh, you want a backpack or bag or whatever? Like, it's kind of, it's a pretty nice tote. It has, like, pockets on the sides for water bottles and stuff. And then I got the frisbee. So I'm almost set to play frisbee and whatever, you know, in my car. So you do call this, like, free swag or something. I don't know. But, yeah. Now I'm going to go watch my broskies for a couple hours. Mop, pick them up. And then I got to get more packing for college. What are we going to do? Look at little shy. Little brother. Look at shy. I haven't been famous for a couple weeks. Yeah, tell us what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go play kickball. Okay, let's go play. Oh my god. We will. I won't bring it. See, we're gonna go play. <laughs> Here we go. I just looked and I did videotaped three minutes today. Uh, it's not gonna be very long, but that's okay. Um, right now I'm just putting away the laundry that I washed the other day, and I'm watching some Shay Carl videos in the mom's view. I hooked up my laptop to the television, and I'm just chilling. Put my clothes away. Well, I watched some YouTube, and I ate some crepes, and some of these. You saw me get these unreal. And I got my water. Then, yeah, that's pretty much it. We haven't done much today besides hanging with my brothers. We played kickball with the neighbors again. It was so much fun. And then we played this really cool game. I don't know. I think they sort of made up the rules because it didn't make any sense at all. Because it's okay. It's a game where there's... You have, like, a big square in your lawn or, like, at school. If you did it, it'd be, like, in a gym. And then, hang on. And then, um... All the... Everybody goes in the square or rectangle. You know, the big space you marked out for you to stay in. Because it's the boundaries. And then there's one ball. And then everybody's in there. And you're just like running around and the person with the ball can only take three steps and they have to throw it at somebody. And if you hit that person, they have to sit down where they are. And so basically the entire game, you're just trying to get people to sit down. And once there's two or more people sitting down, to help you, because you can only take three steps so you have to throw it, to help you hit other people, you can pass the ball to the people sitting down so you toss it to one person, they pass it down to the whole chain of people, and then they, that person who has it last chucks it at somebody, so then if you, if that person hits somebody, then everyone sitting down can stand up. But I think the point of the game is to get everyone to sit down, but the way they played it was that, um, anybody could have the ball, so if you threw it at somebody and you missed, then someone else over there just runs and grabs it and throws it, throw it, when I feel like it should be one person for each game that has the ball the whole time. But, I mean, they liked it. They had fun. And then we ended up adding two balls, you know, to make it go faster. I don't know. It was kind of fun. And then we were playing jump rope. And then the other day, 
there were three kids that the neighbor was watching, and today there was four because they had another sibling I didn't know about. And he's one years old, and he was so cute. And he ended up actually liking me. Like, at first, you know, he's kind of like, ooh, stranger, and he kind of cried. But then, like, we kept, like, kind of, oh, I don't know, me and the little baby, we were, like, hanging out, you know. And then, at one point, the neighbor was holding him, and he put his arms out for me, and, ugh, it was adorable. But tomorrow, I have to watch the boys all day, and then I have to babysit, and I have to bring the kids to martial arts, and I'm there till like 9 or 10, because they're going out to dinner. And then I have daycare the next two days, and it's just, it's crazy. And this weekend, our neighbor is having some big, I don't know, hoopla party, and it's kind of like end of the year, going back to school, and they have fireworks at night and stuff, and it's really fun, but I don't know how long I'll stay because, you know, my friends are camping, so. I don't know. Let's figure it out. But, see you tomorrow.